Hello, this is Alan Wheeler on my channel where I discuss tarot and or spirituality. And today's topic will be the four R's of protection for astral uh, tripping. And in a video I made recently about the six types of altered states of consciousness, or six kinds of astral tripping, I uh, touched briefly on this topic. Now, um, the types that I covered in that video were meditation, contemplation, path working, sedir, shamanic journeys, and hedge riding, and they kind of went from the most ordinary and mundane to the most intense. And so as I got to some of the later uh, types, I brought up the idea of protection, but I kind of blew by it uh, quickly. So um, I mentioned casting people cast circles or they draw sigils or seals um, using crystals or amulets and items of various kinds, and even learning banishing and binding spells and things. But I basically touched on the need for discernment and wisdom, so discernment of spirits or energies um, and wisdom in practice. So I wanted to do this separate video just to reinforce that, to revisit that for myself and maybe it will benefit uh, someone else as well. So the four R's of protection here for this kind of journeying um, or inner travel, astral tripping. Uh, the first R is reason. And basically, use common sense and don't do things that seem imbalanced, um, harmful, uh, addictive. So just like we would use reason in taking medication or engaging in physical exercise, we can do the same in these more mental or spiritual activities. So for example, uh, in one of these mystical experiences, if you hear a voice or have a vision that says to give all of your worldly possessions away, I think it's fair to test that and to use discernment and see if it's reasonable or not. Uh, now, sometimes there may be a leap of faith that we need to take to launch out or take a risk but uh, within reason and uh, following kind of a rational guidelines. Number two, the second R is respect. So there's no need to uh, slander or be insulting, whether it's sacred names, uh, sacred spaces, beings, uh, another's culture, and so some examples that come to my mind would be um, just tromping in and wearing shoes into a temple where, um, and not learning the customs of taking off the shoes. Um, just making petitions to uh, Without, uh, without building a relationship and commanding spirits and, and things uh, that is insulting. Um, this is uh, not respectful and should be, um, uh, could, could lead to some something unsavory or even dangerous. 
Uh, number three, the third R is responsibility. So taking responsibility for ourselves um, related to ask, asking things and commanding things without building relationship or building a practice um, is overcommitting to things too quickly. Uh, blindly following whatever we think the cards say, if it's a tarot reading, um, flipping a coin and just doing whatever the coin flip says. Um, we're not taking responsibility for ourselves and blindly following the spells and practices of others that someone else laid down without working through that for ourselves. And so that's not taking responsibility. Number four is uh, red flags. So I think we need to trust our gut to an extent. And when something seems when something seems wrong or something seems um, dark or our intuition um, tries to give us a warning, um, there's no reason to ignore that. There, there could be, um, we could be picking up on something that we need to pay attention to. So red flags, responsibility, respect, and reason, these are the four R's of protection. And this is aside from any other um, workings and, and things we may do. Um, there are other good practices that just keep us safe and grounded as well. But I wanted to go back over these four R's of protection. So thank you for watching this. Um, I hope you'll subscribe, like, hit the bell, make comments so that the algorithm will go up and this will get out to others who might benefit or be interested. As always, I hope you find connection with people in your life, with online community, and on your spiritual path, whatever that might be. Take care.